Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. And this week on the old magic roundabout, on the misty magic roundabout, because it's steaming up a bit in here. Um, we've got the uh, annual challenge held by Andrew at Maple Leaf Customs. He does it yearly. This is his third year. And uh, it's any Porsche. So I've picked this Porsche. And we're going to do, I don't know what's happened here, somebody been attacking it with a felt pen or something, I don't know. But we're going to um, strip it down, clean it up, give it a new coat of paint, and see what it comes out like. So there you go. This is my third year entering Maple Leafs um, anniversary. So happy anniversary, Andrew. There we go. Let's get off the magic and have a good look at it, and see what we're dealing with. Okay, uh, okay then. Let's have a look what we got here. It's a uh, Salido. This one. It's got a screw base. Well, it's got a screw there. So I presume it pulls out from the back here. It's got opening doors. It doesn't have door cards, which is a bonus. There you go. It's got both seats in it. I don't know if they're folding seats or not. No. And I don't know if they No, nothing opens. No, nothing opens. Glass is okay. So we're going to give this a change of colour. Just because we can. There we go. So let's get into it and see what we've got. Okay, that's a screw, so we'll get this undone. We've got our pot, which we need. I tell you what, it's flipping cold in the shed today. I've got the heating on, but... So we pull it up and pull it. Lift and separate. What was lift and separate? There's the interior. I would imagine actually just... There's a little... I don't know what that is. There's something old in it in there. There you go. Not now, right? Now well, that's that. Okay, that's different. That's the interior. It's pretty straightforward. And then this spring, as you can see, let's just zoom in a bit. There you go, look. That's different. It's not a bad little idea, actually. That wire is just gone around like that and then it sits over there and the interior holds it in I presume that's how it worked let's get this up here in the air yeah I like to um, when I take things apart I like to sort of virtually put them back together again immediately so I've got some idea how it comes apart and goes back together again that's just the way I roll ha <laughs> ha yeah, okay, so that'll go in there like that, sort of. Yeah, no, yeah I'll see. Yeah that'll, yeah, that'll fit in there, that'll fit in there. And the interior will push down. Oh, I'll see. Yeah, I've got it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite clever little lot. Sorry, I got out of shot there a minute. Yeah, that interior. Ah, oh, right, yeah. That little pin there goes up through there and holds it all together there, like that. Yeah, got it. Okay, you got it? Yeah. This is die cast. As you can see, Porsche 926. And the scale, 143rd, 143. So that can be stripped. That can be soaked and watered. That can be cleaned up with a bit of emery cloth. Now, these bad boys. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to soak these tyres. They're plastic wheels. So I'm going to put these in warm water and soak them because they're a bit stiff. And I really, really don't want to damage them because they're nice wheels. Proper nice Porsche wheels, them. So I'm going to put this in hot water. Both of them. The axle's bent. 
So that needs to be addressed. Yep. What have we got here then? Okay. Right. So I think the best the best action here is to open the doors. I think sometimes that's easier to get the interior out. The dashboard anyway. Well, we've got to get the doors out for this thing. Yeah, I better take the doors off for this. Twist. Twist that way. Yeah, get them out. I'll put them back in before uh, while I'm painting it. And then this should... Tell you what, that's hanging off the top there near enough. I bet I don't take much to get that off. Yeah, look, it's just come straight off. So I sod it with my well just do it like that and it take it off. We'll just get a screwdriver underneath there. Lift that off. It's all going swimmingly. It's all going swimmingly. Right, okay. Next window, straight out. Oh, this is getting this is this is going like a dream. Now, let's have a look. You just gently, yeah. You got to pop. You got to pop these off here. You can see there's a, a thing there. So I imagine you pop them off. There's not a lot of room to manoeuvre that around. And try to push it back, maybe. Spoke too soon, then I really about going swimmingly. So I think we've got to. There you go. Got to be careful with it. I'll spin it round and then pop it out. So that's going to have to go in in the same way. I think we've got to locate it and then spin it round. I mustn't lose those. Uh, just lift it a little bit. Catch it on the corner. See if it'll spin. Get your thumbnail underneath it. Try and push it back slightly without putting too much pressure on the glass bit. It's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. Tricky dicky. There you go, that's out. Well, that's the indicators anyway. That's the side bits. Now, oh. now we've got the um, headlights to deal with. Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The headlight. Oh, right, okay. The headlight, the little stick on it, that light sits over the top. Oh, okay. Well, we've got that now. There we go. That's showing the other one's broke, isn't it? Yeah, that one broke. That one, but never mind. You can't have everything. They're all glued back in this time. Yeah, there you go. It's on my finger there. See it? We just wash my hands, wouldn't it? Uh, now, is that a bit of plastic? Or is that metal? Will that come out? Can't really see that it will. But there again, you never know. What's that now? You just give it a bit of a scrap. No, that's die cast. Right, we're done. That was the original colour. I think somebody's had a go. Number six, sort of. Yeah, okay, so here we go. Stripping time. That's it. All out the stripper. It didn't take too long to get this off. A little bit stubborn in places. But we've got it all off. It's in pretty good condition. No pitting as such. Still see the pull sign on the back. Yeah, so that was okay. Uh, the base come out alright. And the doors... 
So that's everything's okay on that score. And what I did, I put the interior and the wheels all in the old Sonic cleaner. Come out really nice. Come out nice. Got all the crap off the tyres. Put it in for about 25 minutes. That was it. The interior came out nice, got all the muck off it. Looks brand new now, doesn't it? And the dashboard. So that's where we are. So now we'll put these back in the box and I'll um, set to with some primer and some paint. I'm not sure what colour I'm going to do it yet. It might be a horrible colour that nobody likes or it might be a colour that everybody likes. I don't know. I'll see what, what paints I've got and uh, I'll just go a random colour. See you in a bit. There's it then, all painted. I've gone for a, this is a pearlescent silver. Thought I'd go for that. Uh, better than, I didn't like the red much on it, the pearlescent silver. Uh, I've gone in with the... Uh, Porsche logo on the back just put a bit of black wash in there put the lights back in because I, I didn't want to lose them so I've just put these back in got the doors back on so they're pretty straightforward put them back on so that's that so really we're ready for assembly that's the base all painted up the dashboard's all there I didn't bother changing the colour of the interior on this one because the person I'm giving this to doesn't really bother about the the interior as it is. So I'll get the uh, the rug out, the magic carpet, and we'll get this put together. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realise I hadn't pressed record. Um, yeah, got the dashboard in, slide underneath the two pins, locate it in. Um, and then the back, this one goes in. Make sure it's sitting flat. Then your spring, that spring goes in, in there, sits in there, like so. Okay. Right, this is where it gets a bit fiddly, because you have to have these, or we'll try, and get these, where they don't fall out, like that. And that spring doesn't come out. <laughs> oh, I do. I yeah, I do love this part, you know. I really do. And there's people screaming at the computer screen. You should do that and do this. Love it. Love it. All right. It's just holding them. I'll finger it too tight. Just got to get them in there. And just once you get this back bit in. <laughs> and it should just drop down it should just move the wheels about a little bit there you go one two three and that should locate in there you go that's in so as he's work at the back let's push right in yep sure it's across and we're done Put the screw in. And we're rolling, and we're rolling. There you go, There's nothing flash, nothing fancy, nothing super customised or anything like that. Ain't got wings sticking out of it and covered in decals and stuff. But yeah, it's just pretty, fairly straightforward. Pearlescent silver over a silver coat. We did a we did a um, we did a white undercoat. Then we did a a silver, a straight silver. Then we did a this pearlescent. It's got like a champagne look to it at the moment. It's quite nice. It, perhaps not showing up in camera, but yeah, yeah. And all the doors work. Look, the doors are all working. Just to show you that, yeah. Yeah, the guy I'm giving it to, he just wants to stick it in with his 
head of Porsches, he's got a couple of Porsches. So, yeah, he said he's quite happy with it when I showed him the body colour the other day. So there you go. Job done. Get it on a magic and get a bit of light on it. This is what we started with. This old Porsche. Overpainted. For Andrew's third anniversary. So let's see what we ended up with. See how it turned out. And have a look at this. Here it is then. It's Porsche for um, Andrew's anniversary. Third third anniversary of being on YouTube. He's a Porsche man, so obviously it's going to be a Porsche every year. There we go. A nice, clean, straightforward restoration on a Porsche. Change of colour. It looks a lot brighter with this interior and the outer paintwork than that red was. I just think it sort of stands out. It looks nice and clean. Very clinical. So there you go. Look forward to your comments. And uh, well done, Andrew, for three years, mate, on um, YouTube. You're doing really well, fella. Okay. And I'll see you all again uh, on Wednesday. Yeah, with another restoration. So I'll see you then, then. Cheers, then. Bye for now.